In this video, we're gonna show you how to change the oil on this 2016 Lincoln MKC with a 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine. Our first step is to go underneath the hood here and undo the oil fill cap. We can go ahead and put that to the side so it doesn't get lost. Next thing we need to do is lift the vehicle up in the air. You can accomplish that with jack and jack stands, or if you're fortunate enough to have a lift, using the lift. Once you get the car up in the air, there's an undershield tray that needs to be removed by eight T30 Torx bits. After we get the other tray off, we're going to underneath the car, make sure we have a suitable oil drain. We're going to go ahead and remove the bolt, the drain plug bolt, which is a 15 millimeter. After we move the drain bolt, we're going to go ahead and inspect to make sure the gasket's still there and it's in good shape. We'll clean it off, we'll put this to the side. Wait for this to finish draining out. So coming over to the computer here to look up the oil we need. Um, we can find here engine oil capacity is 5.7 quarts. We need a viscosity of 5W30. Engine oil grade is SEO19. SEO is a full synthetic abbreviation. And then the drain plug torque, when we put the drain plug back in, is 20 foot pounds. We can also switch over, and we use NAPA filters here, and look up the vehicle. NAPA has four different oil filter types. The 1348 is what they consider their gold filter, which is recommended for the extended oil change intervals that this vehicle sees. Now the oil is dripping out, it's a good time to put the drain plug back in. You're never gonna get every last drop of oil out of the engine because of the way they're built. But once it starts dripping, you know you're at the end. Now with our torque wrench set to 20 foot pounds, we're gonna go ahead and torque the bolt down. Use our towel, wipe it down, and now we're gonna go get the oil filter. Now we're up underneath the engine, our oil filter is right here. Make sure you have an oil drain pan underneath this and we're gonna go ahead and remove this by hand. It's best to turn the oil filter a little bit, let it drain out, then go ahead and grab a rag and continue to pull the oil filter all the way out. Now you take the oil filter off, there's gonna be this black seal on here. You wanna make sure it's stuck on the old filter. If not, that means it's stuck up on the motor and needs to get taken off before you put the new filter on. The new filter's gonna have a new seal on there. If the two seals go together, whatever oil you put inside that motor, when you start the engine up, all that oil is gonna fall out from between those seals. Now in our new oil filter, we need to lubricate the seal on here. So we're gonna go and take and dip our finger in a little bit of the new oil. And we're just gonna take and spread it around on there. Now, some people prefer to fill the filter up, which is called priming it. Some people put them on dry. Um, I've done both in my career. Either way works. Some guys will tell you you need to prime it. Now using your rag, you wanna go up here and wipe down the oil filter adapter. Make sure it's all clean. Then we can take our new filter and spin it up on there. I like to hold the filter very loosely and kind of spin it until my very loose grip can't spin anymore. At that point here, you wanna go three quarters of a turn to make it tight. So you'll find like an identification mark on there and tighten it down until it's about three quarters of the way around. And that's it. Now one of the last steps I do is I like to take some brake cleaner and take and spray down everywhere I was working. Come through, wipe down. And that's gonna make sure that everything's nice and clean so we have no leaks or drips. Now to finish out underneath the car, we need to go ahead and put the under tray back on and put those nine bolts back in. Now if your under tray is back on, you can go ahead and drop the car down on the ground. Now we can go ahead and pour in the 5.7 quarts of synthetic 5W30. Now when you remove the funnel, it's always good to have a rag handy, so you can go ahead and make sure you don't spill oil all over the engine. Now go ahead and put the oil fill cap back on so none of the oil splashes around. 
Now once we got that all together, we can go ahead and come in here and we can start the vehicle up. And we're looking to make sure that the oil light doesn't come on. So we don't have an oil light on, which means there's no oil leaking out or anything, so we're good there. We'll let this run for a minute here. While we're here, we can reset the oil change indicator. So using the button here on the steering wheel, we're gonna go ahead and push back, which will bring us to this menu here. We're gonna go down to settings and hit okay. Go down to vehicle and hit okay. And then lastly, go to oil life, hit okay. And it says push and hold okay to reset. We'll hold okay. Reset successful 100%. And we'll go back and we'll put this back on the screen that the customer had it on. We can shut the car off. Now we'll come back under the hood. We'll pull the dipstick out and we'll wipe it off. Make sure that we're gonna get an accurate reading. Make sure the car is on a flat level ground right now so you can go ahead and get the best reading. Put the dipstick back in, we'll pull it out. And we'll check our oil level, which shows that we are at the top, the top mark there, which means we are full. One last quick thing to do is just make sure there's no oil spots on the ground underneath the car. And with that, you're all set. You've now completed the oil change on your Lincoln MKC. Hopefully this helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, smash the thumbs down twice. Show me that you hated it. We'll catch you next time.